Bobby Hurley, who's our mm -hmm. Ford team leader for today. We heard Pete Thamel speculating on the future of Bobby Hurley. What do you think is at stake for him in this tournament, John? Is he lining himself up for a really big job in the future? Yeah, well, throw that Duke thing out the window. Not Come happening. On. I'm not buying it. Get in line. Wojo. <laughs> Wojo's been doing it longer. Chris Collins. Chris Collins is doing a spectacular job at Northwestern. It took him a little while to get things going last year, even half of this year. But next thing you know, winning five in a row. He's doing a great job. And Collins is kind of a good name in, in basketball. Johnny Dawkins, I mean, That's a too. big name. Johnny Dawkins, but I mean, he's had his ups and downs as well. Right. There is a long line. And Bob Hurley is new to coaching. So mm -hmm. it's sort of. Relatively speaking, he's new to coaching. Just winning this year in Buffalo doesn't get it done. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Bobby Hurley is exactly the, the guy that Duke wants. I mean, all programs are going to go through this when their iconic longtime coach leaves. It's nice to keep it in the family, but you just want a guy who's going to win. And I think the closer you get to the level that Duke is at and prove you can win is what gets you a shot at that chair. And winning at Buffalo is nice, but Collins, Wojo, Dawkins, all those guys are at Power 5 schools. I think they have to be at the head of the line right yeah, now. Yeah, maybe Buffalo is not the job before the job. Yeah. Maybe it's the job before the job before right. the job. And even Coach K admitted he would not be where he is without Bobby Hurley.